<clears throat> okay, testing, testing. One, two, three, testing, testing. I think it's working. Audio should be working, I hope, maybe. <laughs> I really have no way of knowing if audio is actually working until somebody says so in chat. Although technically, no, I lied. I mean, I could hook up an earpiece to hear myself, uh, but I didn't bring an earpiece. So yeah, that was kind of my fault. So I can't, I can't tell if people can hear me or not. So if anyone's in chat, let me know that uh, audio is working. But anyways, uh, let's switch it over. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. So, welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm kind of off to the side because I don't want to bump into people. But uh, welcome, everybody, to today's live stream. So today we are at Otakon 2023. And uh, this place is big, OK? Uh, this place is big, people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys around um, pretty much the whole convention center. Uh, we're gonna, it, it's pretty big. Uh, I will try my best to walk through it quickly uh, or else this stream would be a little horrendously long. Um, so yeah, we are gonna start here in the lobby. That's where I am right now. So right now I'm in the lobby area where everybody uh, comes in from the front door and has to go through security check and bag check and props check and pretty much all that yummy goodness. <clears throat> so hopefully we'll get a bunch of you on stream live so that you know maybe you guys can make some requests on things that you want to see as I'm walking around. Uh, but if not, and you guys are watching this uh, on the VODs at a later time, then uh, enjoy the show. and. Put something in comments down below if there was something that you liked or wanted to see or any questions that I can answer in regards to this. Uh, so if I haven't done so already, I guess I'll do YouTube intro. Intro? Intro. <laughs> I can't speak. Uh, in, intro. Okay, intro. Uh, so yeah, let's do that now. So hello, everybody. Uh, as always, I'm your host, jesus -san, and we are here in Otakon 2023. And we are going to do a live stream of the event. Um, we're going to go throughout the whole place. Uh, well, as much as I'm allowed to go through, I'll try to get through as much. But this place is big, so there's going to be a lot to see. And I'm going to try to go through it kind of fairly quickly, just so that you guys can see everything. Um, the only place I probably won't go in today's stream is the dealer room. Uh, the dealer room, I'll save for tomorrow. Uh, but today, we'll check out the entire convention center. And then after we do the center, then we're going to go to the Artist Alley booth to check out the doll booth and check out to see what's in Artist Alley. And I think that's where we're going to end the stream. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Again, I forgot to bring my headset, so I can't tell if my audio is working or not. So if somebody in the live stream can say something in chat and be like, we can hear you and, and I'll be good. Other than that, I'm just going to have to roll with it and hopefully the audio caught up. Um, it's really my fault I didn't bring a headset to check, so that's on me. And if you're wondering why I keep looking around, is because I don't want to bump into any people as I start going, so I want to make sure the way is clear. Uh, but hopefully you guys can hear me. Oh, OK. It's working? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Sing Blue Silver. So let's get started. We are at the entrance. This is literally where you come in. You guys can see behind, oh, wrong way. You guys can see behind me, that is the entrance. And uh, let's start from there and then we'll go throughout the whole area. So I'm gonna switch camera views around so you guys can see the front. Okay, here we go. So this is the main lobby area. Now it's important to note, you can only exit through this area you cannot enter through this area. <laughs> so exit is this way to the left. Oops, sorry. Wrong way, guys. That's the exit. That's the get out. Everybody's leaving. Now this side over here, if I can get over here, this is where people have to check in. 
So let's see if we can get close. Ooh, so crowded. All right, so just over here, this is all the new people coming in. They kind of get funneled in from this entryway here and they make their way down this way. Sorry, security's yelling at me. So they make their way down this way through the metal detectors and uh, they already went through bag check. So bag check is down this way. Just so you guys can see. The line is not as horrendous as it was this morning. So the, the flow of people is not that bad. Like you could see the line is pretty much moving. And here is bag check and they have nothing to check apparently, I guess. I see people walking in bags, but they're not checking anything. Okay, so prop inspections here. So you show them your props, they'll give you a fancy little sticker and let you know that you're good to go in the con. So once you get your props, how's the AC so far? The heat is terrible. AC is great. Actually, I'm freezing. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. You guys can see. I got my t-shirt on and I'm freezing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I need to ask Especially it. in the panel rooms where you go to panels, it is super cold in there, like frigid cold. All right, so when you come in, this is the entrance, right? So here you go. This is the big entrance area. So let me move off to the side so I don't bump into people. So from the main entrance, you got the photo suite over here. That's where people want to go do professional photos. And we'll walk by there so you guys can see. And then in the middle there, you have the Otakon gate. So kind of like Japan, you have a Tori gate. Well, we have an Otakon gate. So you kind of walk underneath that gate and you head up the stairs into the con proper. But there's a lot to see here just in the lobby alone. So let's, let's move forward. So on the left-hand side of the Otakon gate, right, this is where everybody gets their badges. So if you didn't have your badge mailed to you and uh, you didn't buy it beforehand or whatever and you just want to buy it here, this is where you kind of go. Uh, it's pretty empty right now because everybody got their stuff already. I mean, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so half the con is already finished. So there's not really much of a line here. So heading back to the Tori gate, the Otakon gate, on the right-hand side, I said there was the photo suite, right? So a lot of cosplayers like this area to get their professional photos done. Let's see if we can get in there. Just going to walk through. Excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. All right, so here we go. You guys can see back there, hopefully. There are professional lights and backdrops and stuff. I wonder if I could zoom in. Oh, uh, my zoom in function does not work. Hold on. So you can see back there, there's backdrops and all different kinds of stuff. And then computers to do edits of your photos. So there's that. And that's pretty much the photo suite. Uh, I don't know where the line is. A sign up is here, so I guess there's no line currently. Um, okay. So then, if I go back to the entrance, guys, back to where I came from. Okay, here we go. Very crowded. All right. So here we go. If we go back to the actual entrance, this is where we started chat with the check-in. And if we look up, okay, well now we're going to look up. If we look up, you could see there are three floors to this place. And there is stuff up there. So that's where we're gonna go first. We're gonna check out the whole lobby area first before we move on. So there's two elevators, one on the left, or escalators rather. One on the left and one on the right. Let's take the one on the right. All right, here we go. Yeah, so <laughs> for the escalator ride, I figure I'll just zoom on myself. Uh, but we're heading up to the second floor right now, and there's a couple things up here to see. So let's do that as we go up. Oh, get the shot. Pretty high up, as you could tell. <laughs> oh no. I don't know if I'm gonna get like DMCA for this song. Guys, don't listen to this song. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube's gonna DMCA me. Maybe if I talk into the mic really closely, they won't be able to tell what song this is, and I won't get DMCA'd. Okay, hold on. 
you're listening. No, that's not good. I'll get DMCA on YouTube. Okay, so we're on the second floor. Uh, second floor. Okay, so up here we have LARPing down on that end. That's the LARPing area. On this end here, this is the uh, anime music video section where people uh, create special anime music videos and hope to win the contest because there is a contest for this. So we're on the far right side right now, LARPing and uh, audio uh, anime music videos. Then if we go this way to the left, back over to the center, see all the cosplayers as we go. So if we go this way, anywhere you can sit down pretty much, people are sitting down. It's not as crowded on the second floor as I thought it would be. So this is cool. So when you get to the second floor, if you look down, there's the entrance. And there's a, is that a, it's a Hatsune Miku stormtrooper, guys. Look at that. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Hatsune Miku stormtrooper. Okay. So uh, let's zoom back out. So that's the entrance where people get in. So it's a nice little overlook. And if we go to the other side, uh, come on camera. Come on camera. There we go. Here's the, the view of the Tory gate. So that's the Tory gate where you come in. And then when you go up further, now behind those stairs over there is nothing. It's just a wall with exit doors to leave the building. But then if you go up the stairs, that takes you to the sky bridge which we will go to next. Uh, but that's the sky bridge that leads to all the convention stuff. Um, but some of the main event stuff is here. So let's go and move further to the left-hand side of the building. So as we go to the left, to the left, to the left. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys don't want to hear me sing. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's keep going. Okay, so then over here on the left-hand side of the second floor, we got this big open area, which, by the way, was super packed with people a moment ago, but they all went into the panel room. There was like a line to get in. So this is panel room one. Panel room one has like all the big industry stuff. So I don't know what they're showing right now, but uh, it's probably some big deal. Uh, all the industry panels get that room because it's the biggest room that's down here. So, like, I was just in there for Studio Big West, uh, talking about Macross and the United States, so that was cool. Uh, there's an idle space over there. I'm not really too sure what it is, but just judging by the name, I think it has something to do with idols. <laughs> then we take the escalator up to the third floor. Now, third floor is pretty much empty for the most part, but it's a good place to hang out. And the only other thing to do up here the only thing to do up here on the third floor is the concert. So the concert, like live concert stuff, is all up here. Another thing that's interesting about the third floor is the cosplayers. Because there's so much lighting from the windows, all the cosplayers come up here to take their photos and stuff. This or the Sky Bridge. Sky Bridge is pretty popular, but it gets really crowded. Up here, it's pretty empty. So let's show you guys what's going on. All right, so go down this way. The really cool thing about Otakon is these big corner rooms. Every corner of the con has these big open window rooms where people can just hang out and talk and take pictures and cosplay stuff. A lot of people also practice their performances up here because it's kind of empty. So let's see. So if you guys keep tabs on my Twitter and Instagram, you might have seen pictures of Moment and Cheryl, and those pictures are actually taken up here because it's great, great lighting. Uh, and then you could see, do you guys want to see DC? Here's Washington DC, or at least a portion of it that you could see from the window. So this is outside the convention hall. If I wanted to show you guys the outside, like what it looks like, but if I do that, I'd have to wait in line again and I really don't want to do that. So I don't know what building that is, but there's something across the street. And then there's all these like other buildings like surrounding. I, I don't, they're all like office buildings or something of that nature. But yeah, uh, pretty cool stuff. All right, let's um, keep moving on. So I said the concerts, right? So across the way here, 
on this side, we have ballroom A right there, and then on that side is ballroom B. And apparently these are where the concerts are going on. Uh, I'm not really one for concerts. I don't usually go to the concerts and stuff, but it was popping off like about an hour ago. Some concert happened, it was super loud. But it's a good thing it's not going on now, so I don't have to worry about getting DMCA'd by YouTube. Which I think at some point I probably will get DMCA'd because it is an anime convention and everywhere you go there's pretty much anime songs almost everywhere from either a random cosplayer's boombox or a booth or something going on, a panel, what have you. Uh, so let's go back down. We're gonna go down to the second floor. I'm so happy that like service is working because I was kind of scared in this big metal building that I wouldn't really get much service. So let's go back. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, oh, that was a bad call. Both of those escalators only go up. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I think I have to walk to the other side of the building. Damn, I was trying to avoid doing that. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me turn this around while we walk. All right, so what do you guys think so far? Pretty big, right? I mean, I don't know how conventions are anywhere outside of the Eastern Seaboard. I mean, I haven't gone anywhere down South. I haven't gone anywhere West of the United States. And I haven't gone to any cons outside of the United States. But over here on the East Coast of the US, this is pretty much the biggest one I've ever been to. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> so, Singu Silver says it's huge. Yeah, I, that's what I think. I think it's huge. I don't know, I was talking to another guy earlier that said that this was kind of meh, it's not that big. But I kind of think it's pretty big. I don't know what conventions he's been going to. Maybe Anime Expo, which I have no basis for comparison because I've never been to Anime Expo. Uh, oh my god. Forgot how long the walk was from one side of the building to the other. But luckily enough, it's not crowded. So that part's good. Oh, Sengoku cosplays. Okay, let's keep on going. Uh, all right, you guys are gonna hear me heaving because I'm out of shape, man. And this building is huge. <laughs> so if you hear me heaving, it's because I'm, I'm legit getting tired. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go down, down the escalator. I don't know why my camera just doesn't focus in the direction that I'm going. All right, okay, going back down to the second floor. This is back down to where we were before with the LARPing area and the anime music videos area. So mind you guys, this is building one, okay? We're not done with building one yet. <laughs> well, we're almost done. We, we've done floor one, two, and three, but there's still more to floor two. So let's see, oh, people are leaving. I guess the uh, anime music video session is over, or at least this first session of whatever is going on over there. So let's keep going. Yeah, man, I'm freezing. Like, I should have brought a sweater or something because it is cold in here. Now I've heard stories from other YouTubers about Anime Expo this year being really hot and the AC not working very well. That kind of sucks. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we're back on the second floor. Down there's the Tory gate. All right. So we're gonna go and follow along, as you guys can see. We're gonna follow along from the second floor stairs. So if you start from the lobby and you go directly up those stairs, it's gonna take exactly where I'm going to now. It's important to note too, that right over here at 203B is Odacare. So this is where you go if you fall down and hurt yourself. All sorts of bandages, bruises, uh, band-aids, uh, Benadryl, I guess, if you have allergies or something. Uh, you can get that at Odacare. Very important place. So we don't really go there. Now this part right here, let me move off to the side. 
Okay, now it's getting louder. This part here is the sky bridge. Now the sky bridge connects building one and building two together. Hopefully you guys can still hear me because now it's getting really loud. So you come up that middle area there and you end up here at the top of the escalators and you're at the sky bridge. A lot of people here are eating because there's a food court. A lot of people are dancing on the other side over there. Um, there's a lot of cosplayers that hang out in this area too to have their pictures taken because of all the natural lighting from both windows on either side. And if you guys want to see, see? Sky bridge. So there's that. Now, we're on the right-hand side of the sky bridge. So if we go to the left-hand side, look, more people taking pictures. Samus is about to kill a condor. <laughs> Poor guy, he's gonna get killed by Samus. You know, it's not a bad way to go, though. I'm gonna get killed by an anime character. I don't mind getting killed by Samus. That's not a bad way to go. All right, on the left-hand side of the building, and I think you guys might empty. Now, back to the sky bridge. So on the sky bridge, it's getting loud. To the left, we have the info booth. And then to the right is where we have the, uh, the eating area, all the tables and chairs where people are eating. Now, when you go straight across, which, uh, this is not safe for work, guys. Uh, not, not safe for work, for sure. Okay. <laughs> um, when you go, uh, when, okay, when you go across the sky bridge, you have a choice at this point. Okay, um, you could go straight. This is the video game room and tabletop room. We will check that place out. To the left. You have escalators taking to the panel rooms, uh, guest relations, karaoke, artist alley, dealer's room, doll booth down there. To the right, right over here on the right hand side, you have the food court. Now the food court is just like any other event, super expensive. Uh, it's $5 for a small bottle of water. <laughs> you got Ben's Chili Bowl. You got, I love chicken, which is a fried chicken place, if you guys couldn't tell from that. Uh, and uh, at the very end is pizza, which, by the way, guys, I got pizza today because the line was super short. Everybody wanted fried chicken, so I got pizza, right? Now, the lady at the front, I asked her, I said, is this a regular size pizza, like a large pizza for like a, a family or whatever, or a group of people? She said, no, it's a personal pan pizza. It's small. So it's me and my daughter, and I was like, all right, let me get two of them, right? One for me, one for her. They cook up the pizzas, they bring them out. They're full-size pizzas. They're not personal pan pizzas. They were full-size pizzas. We can't finish that. My daughter and I together can't finish one full pizza. I thought it was a personal pan pizza, like she said. Personal pan pizzas are like four slices. That's it. It's like a small little four slice thing. This is like a full grown, like 12 slice, regular size pizza. Uh, so I had to enlist help of others to finish all that food. And I gave it away for free because what am I gonna do with it? I'm not gonna throw it away. So yeah, there was that. That was, that was my pizza experience. But look down here. I don't know what those people are lining up for, but they're lining up for something. I have no idea. That's a long line. Okay, let's go to the video game room, guys. This might be DMCA. I, I might get DMCA'd in here for sure, because there's gonna be a lot of music going on. And hopefully you guys can hear me. I don't wanna scream too much, but if you can't hear me, I might have to. Depends how loud it goes. So here we go for the video gaming and tabletop room. All right, here we go. So oh, upon entering, I haven't been in here before. Sometimes I scout these areas out, but I haven't been here before. We got Pokemon sign. Let's start on the right hand side, I guess. So we're gonna go right, then down the middle, then, then the left side. So on this side of the video game room, it looks like Guitar Hero, right? There's a whole session. Wow. 
Oh, no, it's Rock Band. It's actually Rock Band. Okay, we got people singing. We got people drumming. And, oh, the guitarists are sitting down. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Uh, indie games, right here. Uh, the VR experience. Wow, there's some people lining up for this. Look at that. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's using the VR experience at the moment. I guess they're getting taught or tutored how to do it. All right. This side is kind of empty. The, the, there's not much on the right-hand side, I guess. Uh, we'll just, we're just gonna keep going this way anyways, just to fulfill all corners of the con. Uh, there's a stage up here. I don't know what it's for, maybe for video game tournaments. More of the VR experience. More of that. Ah, uh, here's the gaming. Here you go, oh. Look, it's Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I, I don't know the name of the character, the main character that you get to play though, but cosplayer. Uh, that's Mario Tennis from what I could see over there. And video games operations HQ. Okay, so that's what that is. It's not a tournament thing. All right, and as we go, let's see. Uh, more video games, obviously. I don't know what game that is. Sing game. I think that's Tekken? Is that Tekken? I can't tell. Oh no, no it's Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6. Uh, I don't know what's going on over here for Joy-Con mode. Oh, there's more uh, VR experiences. Somebody's doing it. Somebody's doing something out there for VR. So VR free to play zone. Oh, here we go. Rhythm games for the, those of you that love rhythm games. Got some Hatsune Miku rhythm games going on. Uh, more VR experience. See, I've never done the VR experience, but I feel like I would hit somebody by accident, right? I mean, there's all these people like swinging around. How do you know that you don't like hit somebody? Like, I, I don't get how that works. Again, because I never did it, so I guess that's warranted how I don't know how it works. All right, another stage. This is a tournament stage. And there is the schedule on the screen there of what tournaments are coming up. But in the meantime, I guess they're showing anime, I suppose. Uh, oh, here is uh, King of Fighters. Oh, and Tekken. Oh, cool. I didn't know there's a new King. Well, I should have known. There's like a new King of Fighters all the time. The King of Fighters, okay. Oh my god, this game room goes on forever, people. Okay, what's over here? I think this is PC gaming. This might be PC gaming. It kind of looks like it, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but gaming. Oh no, wait, I see Switch Switch decks. This is Switch. How much Switch games? Okay. I don't know what this is, dude. What is this? It looks like a, a bus. Go Denshade. Oh, it's a train. You get to play a train conductor in an actual train booth. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Okay, train conductor game. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have the dancing games, Dance Dance Revolution. Everybody's going crazy for Dance Dance. All right, more games. Oh my God, this game room is uh, way bigger than it was last time I was here. Last time I was here, it was probably half of the room. Oh man, I recognize these. Some of these systems are Japanese ones, I think. I've seen these systems. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, what's over there? Uh, older older uh, Street Fighter games, the Tetris version Street Fighter. More games on this side. Another King of Fighters. Oh, the old King of Fighters. Cool. Uh, oh, look at this. More games. Initial D! Yes! I love Initial D. I have to play this later. I don't have a card anymore, though. Kind of depressed. Although, typically, when you go to cons, the card readers are broken. So it wouldn't help anyways. More rhythm games. Project Sekai, for all you Project Sekai fans. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Project Diva. I'm sorry. My bad. I don't know what's here. There's a big empty area here. But there's rhythm games everywhere. Look at this. I've never seen this played. You actually have to use the whole circle thing around you. What? That's crazy. What? Yo, rhythm games have gotten crazy since last I saw them. That's, uh, that's pretty insane. All right, here we go. F-Zero. What? More uh, people playing Initial D. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a card reader in any of them, so you pretty much just play. What's this? What is this? What game is this? Oh, here. Oh, this is also rhythm. That's interesting. No, you go on ahead. That's interesting. All right, what else we got going? Some people get really risque with their costumes or their cosplays. I kind of don't like that. That makes it less family friendly. But I feel like the teenagers, the hot blooded teenagers, uh, don't really care for the risque because they're just like, yeah. <laughs> but for me, it's like, I'm such an old man. I'm such a dad, right? Like, I'm like, I just want to tell people to put some clothes on. They're like, shame on you, where are your parents? But I'm an old fool. I'm an old fool. Don't listen to me. Okay, we're going back. Uh, you know what? I think we've seen this. Let's not go back that way, because we've definitely seen that. Let's see what's on this side. Let's check the left-hand side, guys. Uh, what is this? Oh, Gundam. Oh, I remember this. I saw this in Tokyo when I was there. I got my I got my butt hand to me when I played this. I died like instantly. I was so bad at that game. I got a, a nice little card out of it. It gives you a card. Well, actually, a lot of the Japanese arcade games give you cards nowadays. Let's see, what do we got? Sound Vol Voltex, more rhythm games. That's like the popular thing kids like nowadays. It's rhythm games everywhere, rhythm games. That is like the thing. Oh wow, this is like a big open eating area. Oh, this is nice. Maybe I should have ate here for lunch. There's so many seats. What else is here? Oh, I didn't know. My daughter tried to tell me about this, so. That's my fault for not listening. But apparently there's this whole eating area and she was right. It's huge. Grab and go. Oh, there's like little food stalls. Okay. And then up top you have the burger kitchen. Maybe I'll eat there tomorrow. Firehouse sub, south of the border, Caribbean Cove. Okay. This place is huge. Like I said, last time I was here, it was only half the room that they used. They didn't use the whole dang space. But this time around, it's the whole space, man. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. All right, we're gonna pass Dance Dance Revolution because we've seen that before. What's this on the left? Project Diva and gun games, I guess. Old school arcades, X-Men. You know, I loved that game when I was a kid. Four-player X-Men. You guys remember the, the jingle? X-Men. <laughs> oh, Sunset Riders and Final Fight, what? Yo, I used to love Sunset Riders. That's awesome. All right, let's keep going. Because there's so much, to, so much else to see at the con, so let's keep moving. Oh, there's Wild Bills. We saw that at the other con too. Wild Bills where you get that stein for refillable soda. There's a lot of people just sitting here. Uh, doesn't look like they're doing anything other than just chilling out. There's a whole bunch of surge protectors here. I guess people just come here to charge the batteries. I mean, that makes sense though. That's a lot of surge protectors on every table. <laughs> okay. 
Let's keep going. So on the left-hand side, you guys can see there's still more of those video game areas. So that's there, but on the right-hand side, that's where all these tables and chargers are. Oh, and tabletop gaming. So you can get tabletop gaming here as well. Let's see, what are people playing? Looks like Magic the Gathering. Uh, oh, dude, I want to try this. They have Mahjong here, people. How many of you in the stream know how to play Mahjong? I know how to play to a certain extent. I don't know how to set up the board in the beginning. But once the board is set up, I know how to play. Sort of. I'm not good. I just know how to play. But I'm terrible at the game. I pretty much lose every match of Mahjong. You love playing it? I love playing it too, but I'm just terrible at it. I wonder if there are people here that will teach you how to play. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like, it looks like people are learning how to play. That's so cool. Play Richie Mahjong. Dude, maybe I'll come back here tomorrow to play. I want to play some Mahjong. That looks awesome. Uh, oh, here's a pro gamer setup, I guess. Is this to buy card games? Oh yeah, it is to buy. Let's see, do we have any white shorts up in here? I like white shorts. Oh, we do. Oh, wow. huh. I'm not gonna buy anything though. I have to say no, because there's doll stuff to buy, man. Well, not at this con. I, I don't want to give you guys false hope. There's no doll stuff at this con. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'd rather not spend money on that and spend money on doll stuff. All right. Let's see. What is going on over here? I see Cinderella. Jeez, there's all these people. What are they here to see? There's a fairy. Oh, there's Disney princesses. There's Belle. There's the Emperor's New Groove guy. Cinderella, the prince. I don't understand what's going on here. They're, it seems like they're calling out names, though. Okay, we're gonna keep it moving. I have no idea why there's a huge crowd there. All right, and there's a huge crowd over here, too, for something? Look at this display, though. That looks awesome. I wonder if they'll let me take a picture of my doll on that display. Dude. I don't know what they're waiting for though. Maybe this is like a cosplay backdrop. Oh my God, there's so many Disney princesses. It's gotta be, it's gotta be for cosplay. Like backdrops that you could take pictures on. That has to be it. I feel like that's it, chat. Gotta, that has to be it, chat. And uh, yeah, like there's more backdrops over here. Oh yeah, it's for cosplay. There's a whole like near Automata like set up there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, there's like a, a whole near Automata setup going on. Okay, let's keep moving. I think we're done. We are done. We are done with the uh, video game room. So let's move on. Uh, let's see. Next, next stop will be the panel room area. So. Down there, you're gonna, we're going to find the panel rooms, we're going to find the workshop rooms, uh, and the karaoke room is all down there. So we're back here at the Sky Bridge, and we are going to hook a right this time to take the escalators. So here we go. Oh, not safe for work. Hold on. Hold on, guys. That is uh, not appropriate. I don't want to get flagged on YouTube. All right. There's a line to go down the escalator. Because there's two escalators going up, but only one escalator going down. So bear with me, chat. This is probably not gonna be a fun ride. All right, here we go. And down we go. Okay. You guys can see there. 
There's two floors. Oh no. No, it's not. I think I'm losing you guys. Let me get close to a window real quick. Okay. All right. I'm close to the window. Are you guys back? I think I jinxed it. I said we had good connection, and then I lost you guys. Uh, I think we're back though. Hopefully. It still says live, 42 minutes. Damn, we've been on this for 42 minutes. Okay. I think we're back now. It's not giving me any error codes or anything like that. So I think we can continue. But I think we lost some of you along the way. I think we lost some of chat. Okay, we're back. I think we're back up and running. Hopefully, we're back up and running. So let's go. Okay, so we're on the second floor of the second building. Okay, thank you, Sing Blue. Okay, we're back. So we're on the second building now. We crossed the sky bridge, we went down the escalator, and this is the entrance for the second building. So let's go. So there's this big colorful thing. I don't know what this is. Okay. Let's see. All right, down this way, these are where the panel rooms are. This big open area. All right. I think we're back. I don't understand what's going on. I have full bars, guys. I have five full bars of internet reception. I don't know why it keeps cutting out. Because I just checked. It says stream quality excellent. But I keep losing you guys. All right, I hope this doesn't happen in the artist alley because that's underground. <laughs> that, might not be a good, that might not be a good thing. Okay, so now in this area, right? We're in this area. This is where the video's rooms are. So all these rooms here, so you can see video one, there's two, three, and four. It is constantly playing anime throughout all three days of the con. You have to check the schedule to see what anime is playing, but they show like uh, different series, different shows. I think they do them in four episode increments, so you could watch an entire series. You just have to know when they're showing the episodes. Um, but yeah, these rooms are for that. And then on your left hand side, where all these people are lining up, is the Maid Cafe, which you need a ticket to see the Maid Cafe. So we're not going to go in there because I don't have a ticket for the Maid Cafe. But if we go down this way, hopefully we don't lose connection again. So I swear to God, guys, I got five full bars of connection. So I don't know why I keep losing you guys. So on your left hand side is panel rooms number two and number three. Uh, these are the second largest panel rooms in here. Um, again, a bunch of different topics, a bunch of different things. We go down to the end here. And you have more panel rooms down this way. It's interesting to note, Otakon has seven panel rooms. That's seven. Most cons I go to only have two to four, maybe five at most. Otakon has seven panel rooms. And that seven is different than the main events because that's a separate room and that's usually for the guests and stuff like that or concerts or cosplay contests and what have you. We have this nice little like Japanese, I guess, inspired bamboo tree setup display. I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks like they're gonna set up more stuff. What they're setting up, I have no idea. Here's panel room six. This is where I'm located. I had my panel, my sumo panel here in panel room six. And on Sunday, I'll have my doll shopping in Japan panel. What are they doing? Oh, it's a Gundam panel. Oh no, I think this is the panel I wanted to see. Yeah, history of Mecha in the 80s. I wanted to see that. So having the original Gundam, that makes sense. Um, yeah, I wanted to see this. Oh well, I'm taking you guys around, so whatever. Um, then we have panel room seven down that way. We got maker space. I don't know what that means or what it is, but that is the maker space. <laughs> If we go down here to the other side, 
Hopefully I don't lose you guys again. We go down this way. We have more panel rooms. We have panel room four and five. And then we have over here is what they're calling the Oda Cafe. So the Oda Cafe, this is where the karaoke is. So anyone singing karaoke is in here. So that's, that's karaoke. I don't want to film too long because that guy did not give consent. So I'm just giving you guys the taste, okay? Just the taste. And that's it for this end, at this end. Because all the way down there, there's a whole nother hallway of bathrooms and stuff, but there's nothing down there. So I don't know what those people are coming from, but they're probably coming from the bathroom, I guess. So that's everything for the panels and workshop room. So let's go to the artist alley. Yeah, check out the doll booth that's over there. I currently don't have either of my dolls displayed at the moment, uh, but I will display them a little bit later because they were with me taking pictures for the con, so didn't have them on display. If we go down, back down to the escalators, then we're gonna go down again another set of escalators and then head to the artist alley now i should get reception down there too but there's no guarantee because artist alley is actually in the basement it's actually underground uh so that's where we're really going to test the limits of this internet connection if it doesn't work guys and i lose you i'll just record myself down there and post it in a separate video uh, because I don't know what to expect as the dealer's room in Artist Alley is down in the basement, underground. I mean, I still get service when I'm down there. I just don't know if, if it's strong enough service to live stream. But we're going to try. We're going to try, chat. We are definitely going to try. Okay. That's outside. Here's where we lost connection last time. So I'm hoping I don't lose connection again, but no guarantees, chat. I will try. Oh my god, I'm, I'm getting so tired. <laughs> thunderstorm for Friday and Saturday? Oh, come on, man. I don't want to be out there in the rain. Uh, let's see. Let's go down this way. Okay, so when you go down this, you want to turn left, because left takes you to hall A, A for artist alley. I don't know if they put it that way, but that's pretty interesting. A for artist alley. I feel like a Sesame Street character. What's up, man? That's the case. Meeting a lot of people. Uh, oh, God. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here, Convention Hall A. You guys want a sneak peek before you go down? This is the artist alley. Take a look, people. <laughs> Take a look at how it is. Yo. Okay, so this artist alley, that's one side of it. And then going all the way across, there's the other side of it. So it's a pretty damn big artist alley. And that's a large alley. The dealer's room is twice the size. That'll be tomorrow. Let's go. First stop in the artist alley. Let's check out the doll booth. 
Again, none of my dolls are displayed in the doll booth. Not yet. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. Yeah, you got one. Oh, look at this. There's another, uh, another connection. Oh. All right. Hi, though. Okay, we're gonna try. Our friend Tempest. Okay, we're gonna try. Our friend Tempest Strife. Other friend from Artist Alley has a Strife. Other friend from Artist Alley has a booth at this house here, but we'll walk around and see. But first off, let's go to the doll booth. Uh, again, chat, if I lose you guys, I apologize. I seriously apologize if I lose you guys. Uh, but we are underground, you guys. Uh, but we are underground in the basement. Um, so I might lose some of you, lose some of you. I'm gonna wait for some of you or what? Okay. Because I think I think I need to get out of here. Okay, guys. Go back upstairs. How come I have service now? I haven't lost you guys yet. Are we good now? I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like we're working now. Like, the minute I saw leaving, it's decided to work. Okay, so, so here's the doll booth right next to the S. Oh my god, a uh, custom doll? I have to ask Batman and Jackson because these are actually all her dolls. <laughs> all of these are Batman's. So there's a whole thing on here. She wanted to. I don't even know if you guys now. Internet has been so spotty as all hell. All hell has broken loose on this live stream. <laughs> it was a very unsuccessful live stream. Uh, let's go. Let's go somewhere where I can get better reception. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's see. All right. I'm going to aim the camera down, people, because not safe for cosplay. It is not safe for cosplay right now. Not safe for kids, not safe for work. We're just not going to show this part of cosplay right now. Okay. All right, we're out. We're back at the main lobby. This is the entrance to get into the con. It's full circle. What was that? Oh my God. That was crazy. There's a centaur. There was a centaur girl here. <laughs> I don't know how she got the, the back legs to move, but she did. There's nobody back there, just so you guys know. It's like on a spring or something. Let's 
see if we can go go somewhere a little bit quieter. Huh. Okay. Uh, so that was a crash course in live streaming. What do you guys think? <laughs> was this a, a yay or a nay for live streaming today? Uh, I think I can give it like a, a may, a yay and a nay at the same time. Uh, it's kind of like meh, because the first half was great. Uh, I got to take you around everywhere and see everything that's here even the panel rooms area. But the Artist Alley, no dice, man. I don't know how much you guys saw of the Artist Alley uh, because I kept getting error messages from YouTube saying, please reconnect to the stream. Please reconnect to the stream. <laughs> please reconnect to the stream. So Artist Alley is a no-go. Artist Alley is a no-go. And what makes it worse is that Oh, this is down only. Uh, oh my god, it's crowded like everywhere right now. There's like no seats anywhere. Let's see. Uh, I'm sorry, chat. I do apologize for the technical difficulties going on today. But it can't be helped. I can't I can't change it. I can't magically make there be better internet. Uh, hold on. I'm just trying to get to an empty area. Oh, she's with the chan. I don't want to block this guy. All right. All right, here we go. I'm in an empty area now. So, yeah, uh, that was not cool. So yeah, that's the end of today's stream, I think. I think that's gonna have to end it all because we can't, we can't go into the artist alley. Sorry. So we can't stream in the Artist Alley because I don't get good reception down there. Unfortunately, the Artist Alley and the dealer's room is in the basement. Yeah, so can't live stream. I can video it though. I can do a video tour of the Artist Alley and the dealer's room um, and then just post it later at a later date. But uh, unfortunately, I can't live stream it, so I do apologize. It's just that it's underground. I don't get good reception, so it's just not going to work, which is really disappointing because I feel like you guys really want to see the Artist Alley and Dealer's Room anyways. I think that's like what you guys really want to see. But being that it's in the basement, uh, I'm not getting any good reception. So I think we're going to have to leave it at that. Uh, I'm going to try to just regular record my experience in the artist alley and then um, post it up on YouTube at some point or another um, after the con. So sorry. Uh, but that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's live stream. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the live stream so far, I mean, give it a thumbs up, please. Um, if you're watching this later on the VODs, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I will continue to do live streams at every con I go to. It's just, um, wow, that's really unfortunate because the Otakon Artist Alley and Dealer's Room is huge. And they have lots and lots of stuff down there. And the fact that I can't get a good connection down there just really bothers me. And I do apologize. I promised you guys that I would take it to the Artist Alley and Dealer's Room. But maybe I'll try a different live stream tomorrow to see if it works. I doubt it, because uh, I spent a good 20 minutes down the artist alley, and I think you guys were cutting in and out, in and out. So, yeah, we're going to have to end it. Sorry, guys. That's it. That's it for me for Otakon 2023, at least for day one, Friday. 
and uh, hopefully you guys uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed what was of the stream all the parts that was a part of the stream uh, thank you Linda yeah it, yeah I, I'm it's unfortunate the bad reception I'm so sorry um, but I, I will I will try to just regular videotape and record the artist alley and dealers room and then I'll post it at a later date um, but I, I, I don't know. I can't say sorry enough. <laughs> it's just the internet reception. It's just really bad down there in the basement. So that's everything for today. I'm ranting. I know. I, I always rant. But that's it for today's live stream. And um, if you guys want a, another live stream tomorrow, just not of the dealer's room and artist alley, maybe if you guys want to see something else, I don't know, let me know. Put it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you at least enjoyed what you saw so far. And... Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the pre-recorded videos next time. And keep an eye out for my Instagram and Twitter. I'll post more pictures of the girls throughout the con. Or at least I hope to. So thanks, everybody. Bye. I can't end the stream. Oh, my God. I can't. <laughs>